Hello everyone, this is Jim James, author of the book Automatic Poker, a short stacker's guide to winning poker. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the use of Hold'em Indicator on Bovada. Um, Bovada is an anonymous site. You sit down at a table and are assigned a number, so players cannot track long-term hands on you, which renders something like Hold'em Manager or Poker Tracker worthless. But there is one um, program out there called Hold'em Indicator that does allow you to keep session stats on other players. And as a professional player or a serious amateur, uh, if you play on Bovada, you would definitely want to consider using this software um, because it gives you an edge over the other players if they're not using it. Um, once a, an orbit or two go, goes around, you pretty much can get a feel for the way your opposition is playing. Um, as you can see, I've got the Hold'em Indicator up on four tables here at Bovada. Um, in the top right, you can see what the mini view looks like, and right here in the bottom left, bottom, actually the middle, you can see what the uh, full view looks like. Now, Hold'em Indicator tracks your pot odds, your chance of winning, quote unquote, um, and it gives you your potential outs, that type of thing. Now most of this information is completely worthless to a serious player. You're going to know this stuff already, um, but the pot odds thing actually is pretty neat because you can just know exactly what your pot odds are all the time without having to do any calculations and of course that can give you more time to think about other things. Um, just sticking with the um, Hold the medicator for now. We'll cover Bovada here in just a minute. Um, briefly, you can tailor your HUD, but the stats you can um, put on your HUD is fairly limited. It's just the standard VPIP, preflop raise, aggression factor, that type of thing. Um, although it does show steel stats and 3-bet as well as C-bet stats, which are very nice. Um, it's unlikely you'll ever have a sample size big enough to get a true read on somebody. But it does kind of give you its, what their tendency is. Um, it helps you spot the fish a lot easier. Um, and that's the biggest part of it is you just, without even having to think about it, you can spot who the bad players are at the table. And also who the strong players potentially are. Um, as you can see, I've got four tables up here and I have four table, uh, four hold'em indicators up. I prefer the mini view, just kind of keeps it out of the way. Um, you don't really hardly ever look at it anyways. Um, the main thing you want to use with Hold'em Medicator is the HUD itself. Um, there are a few features on Hold'em Medicator. Um, they really aren't worth covering. Um, you can customize your HUD a little bit. Um, but I like to use as few stats as possible just to keep the clutter factor down. Um, you can tailor your auto rate symbols, but auto rating is something um, it really takes a big sample size to get a feel for that, so you don't really need that unless you just you know, want to become a guru and plan on playing long sessions. Um, but you'll find out that Bovada is kind of a revolving door. You're not going to have the same players on the table very long. They're going to drop and come and go like flies, so um, it's really not something I fool with. Um, there are a few little setting -ish things here you can um, tailor your, for example, your display. You can show either winning percentage or make it a ratio. Um, you can profile players. I guess that kind of color codes them for you. Um, once again, I don't really fool with that stuff, although I do like to have my pot odds as a ratio, and I think the default, the, the default makes it as a percentage. If you prefer a percentage, go with that. Um, but most players out there like the ratio, so that's something you'll have to tweak once you, um, or that's something you'll have to set once you get started. Um, but everything as as a default um, works pretty well. Um, just out of the box, you really don't need to make many changes to use this. The HUD might show hands, which I don't really like to show; it just clutters things up. But if you like that, you can show that on your HUD. Um, that's pretty much it. I think the program costs about a hundred bucks. Um, I don't work for Hold'em Indicator. I 
don't get any royalties from them. Um, basically, I'm just doing this as a third-party review. Um, it's something that I've found to be very nice to have while playing on Bovada. Um, just a few tips and tricks here. Um, if you use preferred seating, the HUD is not going to be in the right place most of the time. You'll have to move these guys around, um, your HUDs. Um, one little thing I'll let you in on that you're going to encounter if, if you're not aware of it is when you first bring up your hold indicator, it's going to pull up a box in the middle of the table that's asking you what size table you're playing. It'll say 6, 9, 10. That's just basically the maximum number of players that would be on the table. Since it's 6 max, you would click 6 on these tables. Um, but if you've got four tables up and you just pulled up in the, the indicator on all four of them, if you start moving your HUDs around on a table and one of your other tables has not given you that box yet, um, you're going to find that if you're right in the middle of moving one of these around right when it pops up, it's going to freeze everything. And you're not going to be able to click on anything. Basically what you have to do is crash hold them indicator by control alt delete and that's the only way to get your tables functioning again. And I found that Bovada likes to crash at the same time. So make sure that you've clicked that box on all four tables before you start moving your heads around um, or else you're going to encounter that issue. Um, but um, let's move over to Bovada. It's um, one of the sites that U.S. players can play on. Um, Bovada is also Bodog. I think that's their sister site, which you use anywhere else in the world, I believe. Um, Bovada is for American players. Um, and it's a gambling website, so you can bet on horses, basketball, football, sport, any sport. Um, and it also has blackjack. So you get a lot of gamblers that play poker um, just as kind of a rec recreational thing on the side. So that definitely increases the um, percentage of fish on your tables. Um, there are two or three things about Bovada that a lot of grinders and pro players don't like. First of all, you can only play four cash games at once. Um, so if you're used to grinding six, eight, twelve, twenty-four tables, you're not going to be able to do that on Bovada. Um, but the fact that you can focus on four tables and you're playing against a lot more fish it gives you a chance to extract better because you're thinking more about your decisions. So your win rate should be significantly higher um, for four tabling on Bovada than it would be on, say, Carbon Poker or the Revolution Network or Poker Stars if you're able to play somewhere else in the world besides the U.S., which does not allow Poker Stars. Um, another thing you're not going to get here is right back. Um, I think you there is a point system. Um, you can see I have 1,700 points, and those points can be used to cash in for tournament tickets, things like that. Um, but I think the rate back equivalent on that is probably about three percent from what I've read. So don't play on Bovada to be a multi-table grinder that's trying to just earn a living from rate back because it's not going to work for you. If you can't beat the games. Um, then, and you're just relying on right back, Bovada's not for you. But it's if you know any kind of basic poker strategy, it's kind of hard not to beat the games on Bovada. Um, I don't play the stakes you're seeing right now. I basically just pull these higher stakes games up just to show you that there are games running at these stakes. Um, you can see there's multiple tables running of 5, 10, and 10, 20. Um, and, you know, if you just look at some of the HUDs around the tables here, um, there are fish, potentially. A lot of nits, but there are some fish, even at these stakes. So, um, if you're a high stakes grinder, I would definitely recommend giving Bovada a shot. And if you are currently beating 1 2 on just about any other site, you probably can beat these higher stakes games. I obviously have no experience or no reference to say that as a fact, but. Um, I play 50 and, 50 and L currently, and I would say the gameplay is comparable to 5 NL on Poker Stars or any of the other sites. It's that bad. You'll see family pots, you'll see family 3-bet three bet, three bet pots in 50 and L. It's pretty ridiculous how bad the play is. So, 
Yeah, I would definitely think that you could beat much higher stakes on this side than you could on, say, another side. And the fact that there are less features for pro grinders, there's a lack of rate back, there's a maximum number of tables, um, and the fact that you can't have a long-term HUD, that's going to cause a lot of pro players to avoid this site, which means that obviously there's a higher ratio of fish to solid player, which obviously makes it more lucrative to play on this site. So given that information, um, I, I think you'd be um, definitely, uh, I think it would definitely be a smart thing to give Bovada a try. Um, just throw $600 on here and get you know, 25 in Ellis shot. See what you think. Um, they do have a pretty decent bonus here as well that you could grind out probably at 50 or 100 in L and get a good portion of that back. Um, if nothing else, do a little bonus for him. And that takes me to cash outs. Uh, Bovada is supposedly the fastest, well, I think Enter Tops is probably the fastest, but Bovada is probably the first or second fastest as far as getting you your money. Um, from what I understand, it takes a week or less to get your money in a Bovada, or get your money cashed out and in your hand in a check. So, cash out on Monday, you're probably going to have money in your hand the next Monday. Um, and that's always a plus, especially after Black Friday. You know, some of the other sites out there take months to get you your money, which is pretty sucky if you're depending on a portion of these earnings for your income. Um, so, number one thing about Bovada is the poor players. Number two important thing is um, the lack of pro players. And the number three important thing is um, the fact that um, you can use a HUD and probably a good majority of players that are grinding these tables, even good players may not know that. I had a lot of people email me and ask me, how am I using a HUD in my videos? <laughs> they just have no idea about HUD indicator, so I tell them that. Um, and besides that, uh, fast cash outs, um, there's just many reasons that you should be trying to play on Bovada and the fact that you can get a game pretty much 24-7, um, that kind of puts it over the top. Um, you can log in at you know odd hour 6 a.m. and still get a game at 15 an hour or better, um, which is nice. You can't really do that on Revolution or Carbon. It's pretty dead there around those hours. Um, yep, yeah, and with that, oh, traffic. I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, there's about twice as many players playing on Bovada in cash games as there are on any of the other sites. I would say there's as many players on Bovada at least at any given time as Carbon Poker and Revolution combined. So, you yeah, know, always able to get a good game. And the anonymity allows for more fish. Uh, the gambler types, because it is a gambling website. Um, you should definitely, definitely give Bovada a try. If you have any questions, email me, jim at automaticpoker.com. Leave a comment. Um, please subscribe. And if there's any other kind of content you guys want to see me make a video of, um, let me know. I'd be glad to do it. And if I, there's something I didn't cover in this video that you would like to know, um, leave a comment. I'll answer it uh, below. Um, but go ahead and check my website out, automaticpoker.com, if you haven't gotten my book and you're interested in learning how to short stack. Um, I cover pretty much everything you would ever need to know to get started. All the basics. I provide charts um, that you can use until you get a feel for how things work as far as 3-betting, 4-betting, opening ranges, lag play, you know, that type of thing. So with that, I'm going to sign off. Thanks, everybody. I look forward to hearing from you. Everybody have a good day.